Welcome to Adventure by Footnotes. I'm Esteban, your guide for today, and together we're going to explore the Catalan castle of Livadia, and I'll tell you a little bit about its history. Livadia is the capital of the Boeotia region in central Greece, 140 kilometers from Athens and 38 kilometers from Thebes. The castle is located south of the modern city of Livadia, on the hill of St. Elias, a place that is naturally fortified. The castle had at least two doors. The door on the east tower, which is closed at the moment, and another door on the west side. The doors were simple openings covered with semicircular arches. The fortification is made up of three enclosures. The outer enclosure is the largest and it contained the medieval city. This lower area was completely covered with vegetation and it was difficult to walk. So, despite it being huge, we explored very little of it. From this enclosure, the most impressive part is the East Tower, next to the source of the River Erkina. This rectangular tower measures 8.5 meters by 15 meters and it has a height of 12 meters. The intermediate enclosure was the fort where the troops were stationed. The innermost enclosure at the top of the hill was the governor's residence, the safest point of the fortification. Near the top, a small church was built on the location of a small sanctuary dedicated to Zeus. From up there, there are fantastic views. Now then, the big question remains to be answered. How and why the Catalans had castles in Greece? Well, turns out that in the early 14th century AD, the Byzantine emperor Adronikos II Paleologos was very concerned about the advance of the Ottoman Turks in Anatolia. So he decided to hire a company of mercenaries, which it would be known as the Great Catalan Company, led by Roger de Flor. This company was made up of Aragonese, Catalan and Valencian Almogavars, veterans of the Sicilian War. They were very successful and Andronico was very happy at first, but the power and influence they displayed began to be a cause of concern, so Andronico's son, Michael, ended up assassinating Roger de Flor and many of his men with the intention of dissolving the Catalan company. A decision that they would later regret because the Catalans undertook a retribution campaign against the Byzantine Empire, which became known as the Catalan Revenge, where they began to conquer and loot many territories from what is now Greece. With those conquered territories, they created the Duchy of Neopatria. 
Vivadia remained in Catalan hands from 1309 to 1380, when it fell into the hands of the forces of the Republic of Florence. And after, in 1458, it was captured by the Turks and remained under Ottoman control until the liberation of the city during the Greek War of Independence in the 1820s. You can go to Livadia by intercity bus from Athens, Access to the fortress is unrestricted and you can visit it 24 hours a day. To visit the place, you need at least one hour. If you are planning to visit the area, at the base of the castle is the source of the river Arkina and the oracle of Trophonius, one of the entrances to the underworld in ancient Greece. And you can find Delphi, 45 kilometers to the west, the center of the ancient world, also known for its oracle and its games. And that's all for today. See ya in the next adventure.